Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Today I would like to discuss with you how to display image without any page item friends. Here you can see the demo. How can I implement this gym? Yes. Here uh, you can show I have shown the image without a page item reference uh, of page 4. This is uh, the default uh, Apex system to display image from the database table to in a report. Here the item I have referenced to display the image in my report. But today I would like to implement that things uh, without any reference to display the image in a page item from the database table. Here you can see I have implemented how to display from the image uh, the image from the database table. Uh, this three years the same image that's why not changes here you can see the different image yeah, check again yeah so let us start to the practical session first create a blank page Create a region, main region, this will display the employee name uh, who have the image into the table. Here I, uh, I use uh, my testing table you can use your own table and uh, if needed uh, any higher condition you can add as your business requirement as per your business requirement uh, change some formatting uh, to looks good the Runtime environment. Create a new region and then uh, take some page item to display the detailed information of that employees and also image image we are adding a dynamic action to capture the employee id from the and report clip when the row selected then we need to capture the employee id of that row to display its uh, detailed information this is very simple javascript code to retrieve uh, any column value from the selected record in interactive grid reports Here we capture the primary key of that uh, table's value, uh, employee ID, and set it into an item. Uh, later we will refer it.
if you want to resume and we will do sub region one for item container and another for the image container Create some necessary item to display the employee information in details. You can implement uh, your own business logic. My focus is to display the image from the database table, not uh, showing the employee detail information, but taking for. Uh, good looking the view and also uh, display a, a little bit uh, effort to show the ajax callback functions also how it works and how to create ajax callback function and uh, use it That's why I am taking some as items to set these these items below using Java's sorry as a callback function through JavaScript. we need to set a default value for that image item here now i am going to create a that's callback function and this callback function is just a plsql code to do perform some dml operations just here i am Collecting the data from the database on an employee. Here, just uh, first name, last name, job ID, hire date, mail, phone number. department name, salary, etc. Here we need to apply another condition uh, for an employee. This SQL query will return the many rows but we need to add another condition for a particular employee and then we are storing the below in a, another JSON data uh, JSON format now I am adding the below type item source uh, which uh, is converted into C log with concatenating the static text and uh, this will stored in a source
now i am uh, going to call the as a callback function uh, into this javascript code apex dot uh, sub under process namespace is used to call that uh, ajax function here i am adding that condition earlier it was missing now pass the value of that uh, variable global application global variable named x01 and then success function if uh, the ajax callback function return success then what happened then we are going to setting the value of those items from the json array portion is uh, not needed here I uh, tested it to ensure the right name of the array uh, items name Sorry. So here is the most critical things that how we capture the bill of items bill of type of columns data as a source how we retrieve it just uh, used uh, another uh, function to convert uh, bill of to seal up that will also that is also provided by Oracle FX and then we are uh, format it as source in the Alex callback and then it will uh, refer the JavaScript function Here a little bit correction. We need to close the array and objects. Its object. Here yeah, this was missing. Now check it. Yeah, it's uh, done. That's it for today. If found helpful. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.